Hi guys and welcome back to another Dark Fold tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at how to create shaders for beginners. So a few of you have been emailing me asking me how to do this, so I thought I'd make a quick tutorial and show you guys how to do that. So if you already know how to make shaders within Blender, I guess this probably isn't a tutorial for you. Um, but if you're not comfortable with making materials or shaders, um, yeah, stick around and we'll sh I'll show you how to make a few of them. So I've already set up a HDRI image and that's just for the lighting. And if we click material here, uh, this is what Blender gives us by default. So let's just name this base material. No, nope, let's sh base shader. There we go. And we're going to add in a glossy node. And we're also going to add in a mix node. Okay, so for you can get a wide variety of materials from this, from plastics, metals, woods, you name it, you can pretty much make it. So the, if we decrease this factor value, you use more of the diffuse. If we increase the factor value, you use the gloss. With the gloss and the roughness, if you reduce the roughness, it becomes more reflective. So we just change this to red and reduce the factor and you can see a little bit better. And we reduce the roughness on this, it becomes more uh, reflective. So just tweaking the factor and the roughness values, you can get loads of different materials. So just play around until you're happy with the, uh, the one you want. So this material isn't complete, you'd want to add in a Fresnel and a few, maybe grunge, bump, a few other different things, but for now that's um, the basic one set up. Okay, so I'm going to show you a diff uh, another one now. We just copy this and then press the number 3 to make it a single user. Now we can name it and change the colours and do what we want. So I'm going to change this to mirror. So if we change this colour we can see it only affects this one. So I'm going to delete that one, delete the mix. And it's a very basic one since it's only one node. And again you just decrease the roughness and you get more reflections. And if you increase it you get less reflections pretty simple. You can also add in a image texture and change things and make it look uh, a lot cooler but um, yeah just for a basic mirror that'll do fine. So this one here we will do a emission so that could be a neon light, it could be a emission light, it could be anything you want and again it's very basic we just need to add in a emission node, connect that up, you can change the colour to whatever you want so the most of the work is done in the compositing afterwards, so if you wanted to add a glow um, and make things look even better then of course you'd need to do that afterwards. But for now these are the few settings you can tweak the strength of it to make it affect the area around it and the colour itself. So it's pretty simple. Uh, the next one we can do is glass. Now glass can be complicated depending on what type of glass you want to create. So I'm just going to add in a new material, let's call it glass. I'm going to delete this diffuse node. Well, in fact, if you press Alt and S, sorry, Shift and S, it changes the node, and that's if you're using the add on Node Wrangler. So I can show you that uh, later on. So we just add it to glass, and we come down here. I'm just turn off transparent. This is the HDR image uh, we're using behind it. Because obviously it's glass, it's showing the image behind it. So keep that in mind. If you want to use a HDRI image, make sure you're blocking off with um, the scene that you're using. So this here is a list of uh, the index of refraction. So obviously if you want to create a certain type of material, you'll need to know the, uh, the IOR value, which is here we can enter. Say 1.9, you see the more we um, increase or decrease the IOR, the more reflected or the refraction increases in the, um, in the glass. So again, it depends on what type of glass you want to create. There's lists like this anywhere that you can find. Um, and it gives you a guide to what sort of glass you can create. Again, you can tint it as well. You always want to bring up the colour all the way brightness, but you can also tint it with uh, different colours. The It's best if you just have a light blue. Okay, so in this scene, I'm just going to show you an example of another different type of glass. And at the moment, it's just got standard glass on this bottle, on this wine bottle. But I want to create like a green, a dark green, um, old piratey bottle. So I'm just going to change it to green and then drop down the colour quite a bit. So we just render this bit here and see what it looks like. There you go, you've got um, a green bottle. <laughs> so you just increase the IOR and again to what you're happy with. Okay, so when you're comfortable with shaders, you can add on things like a bit of grunge and a bit of dirt. Obviously this candle is, well this candle, this uh, bottle's got a candle in it, so it must have been there for a while. Um, also, if you add a bit of gloss onto it, because uh, again, depending on what type of glasses you have, um, it will have gloss on it as well. Okay, so this bottle, I wanted it to make it look old, so I added a bit of grunge on it, uh, a bit of dirt. 
So again, you can get more advanced with the nodes. Again, you're just going to be more comfortable with the basics before you do that. You just add on a few nodes to what you already know, and um, yeah, it can make it look a lot better. I will show you in uh, future tutorials how to achieve something like this, but for now, obviously, since it's the basics, it's a bit too complicated to go into. So just render this off this test image. This scene was just made just to show, um, yeah, the glass. Okay, for this next example, um, a lot of you asked how to do the transparency. So, I mean, it's very simple. You can add, there's an add-on you can use, which is um, add images plane. But if you want to know how to make um, the transparent, it's, very, it's quite simple. So let's just delete this. I'm going to add in a transparent node. So if you was hoping just to connect that up, um, well, if you, if you wanted a transparent image, there you go, it's, it's done. But obviously we want to use an image, um, so we need a diffuse node. We also need a mix node to mix them together. Okay, so it looks like this. Now we're, we're going to add in an image, so go to image texture, but you can also add in a, an image sequence. So if you wanted it to be moving rather than just a single image. So if you want it to a single image, just select one of them. If not, select the whole image sequence. Now you've got something that looks like this. We change this. We tab into edit mode and unwrap it. Go back to material. We've got something like this. So we need to use the alpha for the factor and then switch the, um, yeah, the nodes around. And you've got something that works. So we scrub through the timeline. You can see it's uh, an image sequence, so it works fine with the transparency. Okay, for this last one, we'll do a uh, diamond texture. So it's very simple. We're going to use a shader uh, glass. In fact, we're going to use a couple of these. So what we need to do, uh, just connect this up for now. So we can see what's happening. So let's just duplicate this and duplicate it again. And one more time. Now we're going to add these together. So first we need to do is add this to red. We want to make sure it's 100% red. And this one. We want 100% green, and this one 100% blue. This one can stay white. And what we need to do now is just uh, change these IOR values. Again, they can vary, depends on how you want it to look. They're not set in stone for this type of material. I just found these work for me. And also make sure you can change the, um, the type. Um, we'll keep them the same, but I'm going to change the bottom one to GGX. So we add in an add shader and connect these up. I'm going to duplicate this, connect that one, <clears throat> and finally that one. So now if we just look at this through the viewer, we see it looks just a normal glass. And then we look at this one. And it, at first it's very noisy and it's got a lot of colours in it, but once it um, yeah, once the samples load up, you can see what it looks like. It kind of looks like um, a soap bubble right now because of what it's uh, the object that it's in. So it kind of looks like a dream bubble or a soap bubble. If that's the effect you're going for, then yeah, job done. But what we want to do is make it like a diamond. So what I'm going to do is come up, come up here to user preferences, add-ons. I want to type in extra. And these are as standard. You can just activate these whenever you want. Save user settings if you want to keep them around. Now if we shift A, we'll just change this to uh, solid. If we ch shift A, we can come here. We see all these new objects that have been added. So when extras, diamonds, and then any one of these should work fine. Now we change, come to this panel here, we can change pretty much everything about the diamond or the gem. So I'm going to tweak a few of these settings until we're happy with the shape. And if you can get really in interesting um, shapes with it, you can make something like a, a square gem. Yeah, so um, hopefully this helped. There's some more information on the website. So again, if you are a member, make sure you get involved and answer some polls there. We've got some questions that will help in future, um, future prizes and giveaways. Also, if you are interested in, in a, more information about how to make materials, uh, there is an ebook I've made for you guys who are beginners. So I'll leave a link in the description. So yeah, hopefully this has helped and we can move on to more advanced things in the next tutorials. And yeah, so hopefully give this a like and subscribe and thanks for watching.